Hey people, it's Mick here from Sydney. Um, just out here this morning, it's about 9, oh, probably quarter to 10. Spring is upon us, I think. Um, so just in my shed, just tinkering and tankering and just having some fun. But I thought I'd uh, talk about ticks, the Australian tick, or Australian ticks. Um, we went camping a few months ago. Well, a few months ago, probably April, Easter time. And my uh, daughter got a tick right in the back of her neck and uh, she freaked out. It was the first tick on her. Um, and uh, that was due to the fact that she was just doing cartwheels and rolling around the grass and, and playing with kid wood. And uh, yeah, had a tick and uh, that thing was just grabbed onto it, was locked in there. Had its little hook, nose, whatever there, and it was just hooked in there. Um, you know, we got the tweezers and tried to pull it out, but as we pulled the tick, the skin was coming, it was just really hooked in there, so we basically um, had some uh, diesel engine starter spray, uh, and we sprayed that on it, and the tick freaked out for, you know, a few seconds, and then we pulled it off. Um, so, you know, the Australian ticks are an annoying little insect, and sometimes can be, can be a bit nasty, so... Um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably just read you some facts here, and um, and yeah, you might find it interesting, and um, especially uh, just a simple way of preventing ticks, to be honest. But uh, what is a tick? A ticks ticks are parasites that feed on animal and human blood. There are four distinct stages of a tick's development, from eggs to larvae to nymph to adults. Between each stage, ticks must have a blood meal. The whole cycle takes usually about a year, from egg to adult. Okay, so just a quick little thing there. Where are ticks found? Now I'm talking about Australia here. Uh, there's many species of ticks in Australia. The most common tick is in New South Wales, where I live, um, is the paralysis tick, Ioxides holocyclus, whatever that, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm probably am, which is found along the state's eastern coastal strip and inland for about 30 kilometres. As a majority of the population in Australia lives on the uh, on the coast, uh, encounters with the tick is frequent. Ticks, like most many insects, occur in humid, moist, bushy areas. Um, ticks are not very mobile, but rely on passing animals to both feed on and transport them. Ticks may appear to drop onto clothing after brushing past bushes or trees. <clears throat> or may fall from overhanging branches, especially around clotheslines. Okay, so how can ticks um, affect humans? Ticks inject a toxin that may cause local irritation or a mild allergic reaction. Um, most tick bites cause little or no symptoms, but in some cases ticks can pose a serious threat to human health. Tick bone disease, tick paralysis and several allergic reactions, while uncommon, can pose a serious health threat. Tick bone disease occurring in Australia are Australian tick typhus or spotted fever along the coastal strip of eastern Australia from North Queensland to Victoria and the Flinder Islands spotted fever. Um, so yeah, I mean look, they, you know, if you're unlucky enough to to get that tick um, and it affects you and gives you some symptoms, it can be uh, quite nasty. I know for a fact that if um, if you have a tick on you and and it's not removed in a certain time period, it, it can pose a, a pretty serious threat to your health. Um, so basically, to remove it, remove a tick, uh, what they recommend is remove a tick as soon as possible after locating it. Use fine pointed tweezers and grasp the tick as close to the skin as possible. Gently pull the tick straight out with steady pressure. If you have difficulty, seek medical attention. Do not try to kill the tick with methylated spirits or any other chemicals. This will cause the tick to inject more toxins. If you have a severe infestation by larval stage ticks, often referred to as grass ticks, take a bath for 30 minutes with one cup of biocarbonated soda. Note, if you're allergic to ticks, seek urgent medical attention and treatment prior to removal. Okay, so I just got that off the net there. Um, it's Australian health kind of 
fact sheet. Um, but look, the best way to treat ticks is to prevent them and uh, the most simple way of preventing ticks is when you go into the bush or anywhere, you know, get the good old bushman. Spray that on your arms, spray that around your neck and um, spray it basically on any exposed skin area. Um, you're not going to spray that directly in your face but spray it in your hands and wipe it around your face if you so like but uh, I find that is really really good. Um, when we were camping there were other kids there and uh, I did spray one of the little little boys with this and he had no ticks at all. A couple of other kids did get affected by, by ticks so um, it works. So best way to get rid of ticks is to prevent the little things. Um, and yeah, and when to, and if you do get one and you need to to remove it, uh, you've got to be careful not to get that hook they stick into you, stuck in your skin. So yeah, the best thing is some sort of, um, well, some people recommend the diesel engine starter, um, which just stuns the tick for those few seconds and you can remove it. So anyway, a bit of facts on ticks there. Prevent it, guys. Wear clothing that. Uh, that uh, protects you and um, here's some pictures of those ugly little bastards. Cheers.